encapsulated in there? Nothing wrong with those lungs or that heart. Died because of that femur artery. Blood out instantly. I mean, big time bleed out. Blow that up again one more time. It's sort of interesting to see how you can kill these animals and not take out their lungs. I'll tell you what. I wish my lungs were that good. I've got no damage whatsoever right. to those. None. Died completely through the femur artery. Alright. Now you've seen double lungs, you've seen perfect lungs, you've seen the shot, you know, <laughs> wherever. Uh, this this organ right here, I don't know if you guys, this is how big the liver is. This was the liver that came out of that big buck that I shot. You know, that's a pretty good sized organ. Now keep in mind, when you hit it in this liver, even though it's big, it's a low pressure organ. So it's going to, that's what's going to leave that dark red blood. Hardest animal to find, hardest hit to find is the liver hit. The liver rate lays right here, right behind the diaphragm, in the abdominal cavity. So whenever you hit a liver shot, you might as well fess up to it so you got a gut shot. But it's just about as bad. I mean, it's right there. Okay, like I said, it's uh, sort of graphic, but I want to show you these lungs again on this heart shot. And the next time you hear somebody telling you they shot him in the heart, yeah. I want you to remember that those, those lungs are perfect and they're blowing up. There's nothing wrong with them other than the bottom of the heart cut out. And buddy, when that broadhead came through there, and with that low in that cavity, at 35 yards, it don't get no lower than that. That is as near miss as you're going to get to get a dead deer. I was very fortunate on that. So, thank God for carbon arrows. <laughs> but I think if I had been shooting my aluminum, they might have been too heavy to find out there. So we're only talking in or out of the body cavity, you know. It's uh, just a little graphic. Now, remember last night when I was telling you about bears and that game tracker? When you when you shoot a fall bear, this is what they live on all winter. That's pure bear fat. That's why when you shoot a bear. It's really critical to get them in the right spot. That, that, that's just some of the fat off of it. Makes good boot grease too. Yeah, it, it makes good pipes. Indians up there use it for like, you know, lard and cooking all greases and stuff. They make excellent pipe crust with it. You want to feel that? It's really slimy. That's just pure bear fat. That's why when you shoot a bear, you want to have a real sharp knife because it's got to get through there. That fat will the hole quicker and quicker. I mean, that is a, and that's just some of the fast off the bear. So if you ever find yourself bear hunting, is that, you bear hunt it, and you know how fat there. That's, that's a fall bear. Now if you spring hunt, it's not going to be that fat. But that's getting ready to go to hibernation with that much fat on it. Okay, another thing about a bear, this is the front scapula of a bear. That's a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle right there. That's a, that's, you know, Josh on steroids. <laughs> it takes a lot of penetration. And that's why some of those expandable broadheads just don't cut that on a bear. You can shoot the bear through there, just like I told you, that, that will go through that muscle. But that, that scapula, see it? You see how a bear scapula is different? It's reinforced. It has a, a, a second rib in it. See how heavy that is compared to the deer? The deer only had this one fin in it. A bear has two in there. And it's got a lot of muscle around there. So it's a pretty good walk. That's why expandables, if you if you miss on that, that's where a two blades will probably get the job done and expandable one. Okay. Uh, oh, one other thing. 
Herb is saying you show up to some hunting camps and if you got those expandable heads, they won't let you hunt. And here's why. This is the rib of a buffalo, of that buffalo up there on the wall. You're not going to get an expandable. Why would you want it to open up and get more of those bones? Because that's going to stop. The, you know, somebody was saying about the gel that they were shooting those expandables through. Shoot them through something big with bones in it. You know, you're not, that's almost like small baseball bats in there. You know? And so, shoot, you know, if you're going to go shoot different animals, you better figure out what the bone structure is. Now this arrow, it was a moving arrow. It went through there, no problem. It went uh, right through the ribs. But if that had been an expandable, it would have opened up and hit those ribs. And you know, because that's the nature of it. But that's the bone structure right there. That's why on a big game animal, you show up in a camp, a lot of times the outfitters will just tell you, go buy some real broadheads. Because those expandables are great for turkeys, they're great for possibly bear, and they're great for white-tailed deer. But when you get into big, big game animals, that ain't going to cut it. You know? And then, you know, it's unethical for you to try to make it work that way. If you, if you, a little bit of work, you can get those broadheads of any making today. They're all quality. They don't make junk. They can't afford to be in business making junk. Here's some rib bones from a moose. That moose that you were eating. This is some of his rib bones. Now, why would you want to have an expandable to open up two inches and hit that much more bone? Does that make any sense? See the thickness of them bones? If you open up a two inch expandable or something like that, it's just going to, all it's going to do is lessen your penetration. They're great for small bones, they ain't worth a damn for bones like that. You know? Just keep that in mind. Because I don't know where hunting's going to take you. I didn't know it was going to take me where it's taken me, and I hope it takes you places where I haven't been. It does. Anyhow, one lungs, double lungs, no lungs. You just seen it all. The right side is stronger. You have what you're going to have is three lobes on the left side of the animal, and you're going to have five lobes on the right side. One other thing I want to explain to you. Why we got all this mess and I'm going to get cleaned up. On this here deal, uh, diaphragm, there is a uh, metal spinal membrane. Anybody know what the metal spinal membrane is? Is that that membrane that runs between both bones that keeps them inflated? You don't pop that, you won't collapse that other one. Yeah, that's right on. People can live with one lump. Each lung works independently. <coughs> the metastinal membrane starts at the heart sac and goes up to the top of the thoracic spinal column. It separates those lungs. It's like cellophane. So if you poke into one lung, those lungs are in a vacuum. There's no pressure in there, so you can breathe. But if you poke a hole in the outside and you let the outside air pressure in there, it's going to collapse that lung because that outside air pressure is greater than what's in that cavity, and it's automatically going to collapse that lung. You've heard of people having collapsed lungs. That's what happens. The air gets in there, and it's real painful. I had one. I fell off a truck, a hay truck. I was putting up hay, and my rib went in and punctured my lung area, and the air rushed in and felt like somebody stabbed me. And, you know, it, was, it took a long time for that lung to inflate again, but it finally did. It's like 14 days in the hospital with the deflated lung. And that was painful, but it got back. Uh, anyhow, that's a vacuum. If one lung, if it doesn't culture that other side, that other lung will sustain life in that deer. But and the other lung can go ahead and heal up. So it's not it's not an uncommon thing. But uh, a lot of times, it, on that one I got, when it took that one lung, it must have lost enough blood because it was a small deer, so it's there coming to death. The bigger one might not die that easy. <coughs> So, anyhow, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up.